Hey, what's up, people? And I'm gonna show you how to homebrew off Omega Ruby off a of Sapphire. And this is gonna require you to have already access to homebrew. If you do not have access to homebrew, then you cannot do this. So make sure you have access to homebrew or have a friend that has homebrew do it for you. So in order for you to do this, it only works on 11.0, but you could up, you could download the payload onto the game for 11.1 .1 and it's functional as you can see i'm going to show you it's on 11.0 all right you guys can see 11.0.0-33 all right all right so make sure you download the latest homebrew starter kit which I'll leave in the description. Not in the description, but you could download it. All right, let me make sure I didn't move the webcam here real quick. All right, All right. we're gonna go to Smilum and just download the latest homebrew starter kit, as you can see here, just click it and download it and put it into your SD card. And then we're gonna also download something called BaseX installer. So I'll leave a link to the description on where you could download it and yeah, and I will go inside the 3DS folder of the Homebrew Starter Kit. All right, so let me launch Homebrew real quick here. And yeah, everything's functional. Uh, I already tried it on the new 3DS, so that works. So I'm trying it now on the old 3DS and see if it works. So if it does work on the old 3DS, it should work on the 2DS as well. All right, so I'm launching Homebrew here. All right, as you can see, it launched perfectly. And I'll show you guys how Base Exploit Installer looks like. But first, I'm going to remove the game and insert my Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire cartridge. You could use, you could use um, the digital copy as well. I'm going to make sure everything's good here all right so you can use the digital copy as well and make sure you have access to internet so you can download the payload if not it's not gonna work and as you guys can see on my 3ds capture card here my update for this 3ds well both of these are old 3ds but as you can see I'm on 11.1.0 on this update I mean I tried it I tried it, um, what do you call it? To install the payload on this one, but it crashes, so. Pretty sure it's gonna work on the Ultra DS on 11.0. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna install the BaseX Flow Installer. <clears throat> and we're gonna get this notification. So if you wanna press start to exit, press start. If you don't, then press A to continue and of course it's gonna ask you to select your firmware so I'm gonna be using 11.1.3 okay not sure okay I press it <laughs> I press A accidentally so I'm gonna press start here real quick so I installed the wrong payload my bad that shouldn't affect it. All right, so press A to continue. And then as you can see, you can press the D-pad and navigate new or old 3DS. So old 3DS and 2DS are gonna share the same one. And new 3DS, of course, is different. So me, I'm gonna install it on the old 3DS. So you're gonna install the old 3DS, make sure you do it on the 2DS as well. So I'm gonna select 11.1. Point thirty four and select whatever region your 3DS is from. Taiwan, Korea, China, Euro, USA, Japan. So I'm gonna go with USA. It's gonna download the payload, installing payload. And it should be done within a couple seconds. Alright, so current status successfully wrote 
two files. So on the bottom screen, you're gonna see that. All right. So let me turn off the webcam on this one because I don't need to use it no more. All right. And let me remove the game now. So once you once it installs the payload, press start on the 3DS and issue launch back to Homebrew. All right. Let's launch Omega Ruby. Um, before we get started, uh, make sure you have a secret base selected. So secret base is pretty much your little home where you could pretty much customize it with wallpapers and all the good stuff. Um, stuffed animals, well, Pokemon, of course. Um, your little table and whatnot. So make sure you have that ready and you should be good to go. And if you do not have one, uh, make sure you teach a Pokemon secret, things called secret power, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And it should open up. It should open up your the base. So, for instance, um, this is how a secret base looks like. It could be a cave, or it could be, you know, a tree or whatever. I'm gonna go back over here. All right. So make sure you save it on secret base before you get started. And. May, let me make sure the Pokemon has the move I'm talking about. Alright, so Secret Power, that's the move you're going to teach any Pokemon and it should open up the base. So I'm going to click on the computer. So let's put the PC. And we're going to go to Edit Secret Team Settings. So let's press this. And then we're going to go to Change Team Name. Alright, as you can see, Launch Tax Payload update hacks payload and exit reboot so we're gonna launch hacks payload and homebrew should be launched and that's it guys so there you go as we can see it's launched and everything should be good to go so this is what the base exploit installer looks like as you can see base exploit installer i'm gonna press it and you're gonna see a question mark icon and you just open it and you run it so make sure you run it on 11.0 because you run it on 11.1 it's just gonna send you to the yellow screen um, they need to update the guess they need to update something for it to be functional on 11.1 all right so I'm just gonna reboot it and I'm gonna show you guys if it still works so it does not delete nothing so don't do not worry All right, let me launch Alpha Sapphire again. So remember, you could use it on Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, digital, or cartridge. So make sure you install the 11.1.0.34 payload onto the game if you want to use it for the newest update. Select it. All right, let me put the PC here. Edit secret team settings. Change team name. And launch hacks payload. All right, let me try it again. Probably because I did it too quick. All right. Let me launch one more time. Okay, we're gonna go right now, okay? Alright. Let's go back to the secret base. Alright, let's put the PC here. Edit secret team settings. Change team name. I don't know. Just give it a couple seconds, like five seconds before you launch it. That way I guess it won't send you back to the main screen. Alright, 
right guys so as you can see it works other than that thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to let me know and i'll see you guys on the next tutorial if anything comes up and i guess this is the mainly the tutorial people ask for in ocarina of time so other than that thanks for watching if you want to support the youtube channel hit the subscribe button if you like the video hit the like button and other than that thanks for your support and have a good weekend people